Hey guys, Todd here, Product Manager for SolidWorks at Hawk Ridge Systems. Let's talk about how SolidWorks can help you find your center of mass, that is. This is not a yoga class. Uh, this is a new reference uh, geometry feature that was added in 2013 that might have uh, slipped under your radar, but it's really important for those of you designing products where the that require balanced mass. Um, there was a workaround in the past where you could do a 3D sketch point driven by a macro. The updating was a little tricky as well as just doing it in the first place. Now it's a real feature that is extremely helpful in your design tasks. So let's start at the uh, part level here. What we're looking at is an adjustable uh, advanced putter head design. One of the many areas of the game where I need some help. Uh, and So let's just get, start at the part level here so we can see how uh, we can use this tool throughout all aspects or phases of our design in SolidWorks. Okay, so we're going to just add that command. So under features it's going to be in your reference geometry because that's what it is. It's a true hard reference that will put a visual indicator, a point uh, entity, right at where your center of mass is on your part. Okay, so now what is that? Where's that coming from? If we go to our mass properties, we can see that it's basically this. It's this XYZ location from the component origin. So where are we? Let's do a quick check here. Y 6.99. So let's measure it from our Y reference, which would be our uh, top plane, to the point. Okay, And there's our 6.9. You can see that's just what it's doing there and also hopefully you're seeing that you can make measurements so now you can do some pretty critical measurements from the center of mass to other parts on your component okay this may help you understand a little bit more about your design and and where the mass is some other things we can do uh, with it let's go down to a sketch here I'm gonna add some mass so we can see how it updates but what we can also do is dimension from this center of mass point to something in a sketch. Now it will be driven or reference geometry only, uh, dimension that is. It, it won't be able to drive it, but it will provide you some feedback and it will be accurate. And now let's let's bring those those stringers to life here and let's see how that affects center of mass so we can see it's a little bit below the horizontal uh, reference line here of the crosshairs and now that I've added all this mass on the upper half of the part you can see that that brings that center of mass up or I guess negative Z in that direction to line up closer with the crosshairs here so you can see that update happening very helpful now what else we can do is uh, that's going to be the, the point for the entire model at all times. Okay, now what you can do though, if you weren't aware, is that just on your context menu uh, uh, here, your toolbar, you can click on this reference point. So now this is a movable point and it's going to put that down at the end of the component here. So right now it's going to be exactly where the other center of mass point is. However, if I move it up before where those uh, ribs were, you can see I have these two points now. So now this is more of kind of a history based point of where the center of mass was at that time with that geometry in the model before these other changes were made. So again that's also helpful and you can do things like measure between those to again help you uh, help inform your design and tell you what you need to do. Okay, now we'll go to, let's move up a level to the assembly now. Okay, and we can see that I've got a couple points. The, these are, that's the reference point. I'm just going to hide that. The other one is the center of mass point for that component. And you'll see you've got that little SolidWorks part icon next to it. And so now the next logical step would be to insert center of mass point at the assembly level. Okay, so now I've got one at the assembly level and then any I'll be able to visualize any one that I need to see in any component that has a center of mass point added. And you can control the visibility of those in your, uh, in your view controls here, whether you want to see them or not. 
Okay, and if I were to, uh, let's try some configurations here where I adjust this counterweight here and you can see as I go to a lighter version to a slightly heavier version you can see that center of mass of the assembly being affected now so this is a nice way to see if you move components around or add or remove components uh, change their geometry to see how they're going to affect your assembly center of mass and now finally if I bring back the shaft obviously that's going to affect it quite a bit. So again, component center of mass and now here's the assembly center of mass way up here. Okay, so really nice tool. Take measurements on, get feedback. And now let's go to the drawing. Go back to standard. All right, at the drawing level now, same thing. You can go here to uh, this view. Any Again, any model that has a center of mass can be shown in any view. You just need to find it in your drawing manager here. Show it. And then you'll see it in that view. And just like in components and assemblies, we can now dimension to that center point also. So you can get it clearly documented in your manufacturing drawings. Uh, so that everyone knows where that center of mass is again which was used to be a tricky workaround before it's now a fully functional uh, feature now so look for that if you're using 2013 and beyond to help you when your designs require balanced mass